over half of the world's population lives in cities. If this trend continues, it is estimated that 7 out of 10 people will be city dwellers by 2050. It is vital to plan urban growth in a sustainable way, supported by technology and always responding to people's needs. Whereas we previously talked about smart cities, now we must also talk about responsive cities. When we're talking about responsive cities, we're talking about cities that adapt to the environment. So the main points of uh, responsive cities are engagement of the people and embracing the technology that's now available. So you put the two together, the citizens and the technology, you have a good chance for a successful city in the future. The main goal for cities of this type is to put citizens at the centre of the action and give them a more active role, that city residents should be the real decision makers. There are many challenges to, to becoming a responsive city. Uh, certainly how we have uh, important tools like data analytics to, to really understand what's going on in, in, in more detail and adapt to that change. But I would say that the biggest challenge is citizen engagement. Certainly we can talk to a small number of people, but people are all unique. How do we approach all of the people? We are very, very interested in listening to what everybody has to say because everybody has a role, an important contribution to the services that we make in the city. It's important to get citizens engaged because cities face wicked problems like climate change and service providers and cities themselves cannot solve this problem alone. We need to collaborate with the people on the street to come together to solve these kind of challenges. To contribute to creating responsive cities, there is ongoing work on programs and technologies to boost citizen engagement in order to enhance their environment. And we're really interested in finding out how people respond uh, to, to the services that we deliver and, and how we can make the services better for them. For example, in Madrid we have a project called uh, City Centrica and this is essentially a, a service designed by the citizens to be better for the citizens. In the US we're really interested in understanding how the work we do in, in highways impacts uh, citizens and how we can make it better for them. In the UK, in, in London as well, we managed to uh, increase organic recycling by 40%. We we did this by working with the citizens, uh, but also in an open innovation manner with the, 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 the City Council. These examples show that now more than ever, the future of cities is in the hands of the citizens. Another example is Changeify. Changeify today is a platform which basically creates a two-way feedback loop between the citizens and communities on one side and the service provider and the cities on the other side. So people can be walking on the street, see things that they notice that they would like to see improved or they think is a good job, take a photo of that with their phone. That report goes to the command control operation center on the service provider side and gets prioritized based on their urgency. So people and the service provider in the city knows how they can co-solve what are the most important things that need action to improve decision making. New technologies, citizen engagement, active communities. Clearly the time has come not just to focus on smart cities, but to embrace the concept of responsive cities. Music